By the end of this lesson, you'll have a conga pattern for each of the three styles of reggae. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. And if you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. When I first started playing conga drums, I struggled to come up with creative parts for styles outside of the traditional Cuban rhythms. It wasn't until a reggae trio called me to play congas for some quieter venues that I, I had to think outside of the box a little bit. Over the years, uh, my reggae conga patterns have expanded to uh, beyond the simple patterns into rhythms that were stylistically aligned with the three main forms of reggae. The three main reggae beats are the one drop, steppers, and rockers. So in the following examples, I'll share some conga patterns and rhythm concepts that fit with those styles. This conga pattern has a few key phrase accents. Since the guitar on a one drop groove is often playing short chords on two and and then four and, I play slaps to support that rhythm. Plus there's the one drop itself, which is an open tone on beat three, supporting the kick drum. Lastly, the open tones on the and of beat four and the downbeat of one are common spaces to slide a percussion part in like a, like a cowbell or a block. In this case, it's open tones on the congas. One, and two, and three, and four, and... If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. The main feature of a stepper's reggae beat is the downbeat kick drum on all four beats. This is played with a left hand heel stroke, which you could move more to the center if you want more of a bass tone from the drum. If you want more information on conga drumming, search Google for rhythm notes and conga drumming as well as anything else drumming related you might be interested in. The tones and slaps are mostly on the third eighth note of the triplets on beats two and four, with a variation on beat three of the second measure. It's, it's important that you use the heel stroke on the downbeats to keep the time while you slowly practice the tones and slaps. There's only a few for this groove, so it will sound great if they're clear in the mix of the other rhythm section instruments. If you have a metronome with triplet subdivisions, turn them on and practice this groove slowly. Your time will improve, and if you're playing in a group with a drum set, this is a good practice for finding the space in which your parts can be heard in the groove, which is something that you know I, I should probably do a, a, another video on, but um, you know, like how to play percussion with a rhythm section. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in.
Things are getting funky in this one for the same reasons I explained at the end of the last example. You know, you're looking for those spaces where your part can be heard among all the other rhythm instruments. And, and conga parts are often better if they're sparse and, and played in those spaces so that they become a part of the song, a part of the groove, uh, that without those parts, it wouldn't be right. And you also want to be able to support the other rhythm instruments. And really, if you can do both of those things, you know, be a part of the song and support the other instruments, you're, you're all the more sophisticated as a player. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.